Welcome back to Music News TV. This is Tim Hunter. In today's music news, Rick Ross. Apparently, he had ordered an expensive pinky ring from Jacob the Jewel out there in New York and had it delivered to his mansion out there in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Apparently, this mansion is like 55,000 square feet, one of the biggest houses in the world, I think, or at least in the U.S. Uh, that's the one he bought from Evander Holyfield. Well, anyway, um, Rick Ross apparently refused to show identification for his package and you know gave the guy a hard time he did a little video clip actually showing the guy you know showing himself giving the hard guy a guy a hard time by giving him id saying that he the boss he's rick ross the boss he got some no id you know this and that and i don't know how serious it was to be honest and to be honest at the end of the day i think he was just playing because at the end of the day the guy had apparently left his property with without a package in his hand so Ross, I'm sure, has somehow complied to some degree there, okay? And that's cool, right? But that's the thing, though. If it was on a serious note, this is just for anyone else out there that's getting, you know, great blessings in their life and they have a package coming and they're there to receive it. It's always best to show your idea and not tell you why. Because what if it's someone imitating you? Could be a friend, could be a family member, could be somebody say Sadie or whatever just happen to be in front of your house and intercept the package and say, oh, that's me. I own this place. You know, this and that. Right? And they let it go without ID. Now, you find out someone had intercepted your package. Who are you going to be mad at? You're going to be mad at the delivery person, right? And the company. And you're going to file a dispute and you're probably going to sue. Right? And this guy is trying to uh, operate in good faith and keep his job, but he don't want to make anyone angry. Let's say if he gave in and gave his your package away to someone else, then what? You're going to be mad and say, you didn't even see ID, <laughs> right? No, always sell ID and show ID. Make sure everybody else show ID too, that if they're going to try to get any package of yours, it's your famous, you know? But I'm pretty sure, like I said, I think Rick Ross is just pulling the guy's leg for a little bit and eventually went on here and showed him his ID. But since the story has been circulating in a more serious manner, I just wanted to make sure that that input is stated because no matter what level you are, if you got a package coming to you, so your ID just in case someone tries to get a package of yours without ID. Anyway, now that's that's music news for today. Check out musicnewstv.com. Still in development on a lot of things, but I want y'all to check it out. Tell me what you think.